This tutorial is entitled Getting Around in Squirrel Mail on DreamHost Servers. Many of us have email accounts that we use Outlook to view. However, sometimes there are things that you can't do in Outlook that you have to actually go to DreamHost in order to take care of. Let's log in as Anthony at SaintTony.com. For your web address, it'll be webmail at the name of your particular domain. For Anthony's, it's at saintony.com. So let's log in. Once we've logged in, there's nothing in the inbox, but if there were something in the inbox, we could just view them right here. The main thing that we're interested in right now is the junk mail area. Of course there's no junk mail in here either right now, but if there were, you'd be able to select the junk mail, all of it together or singularly, and then move it to the inbox, whitelist it if you know for sure that that email address is a valid person, blacklist it or delete it. In general, you only want to blacklist something if you know for sure that it's a very bad email address. Usually you'll end up selecting them all and deleting them. Once you've finished checking your junk mail, you'll want to go to Main to check out some other capabilities. For instance, let's go down to Email Filters. I'm going to add a new filter for Anthony at SaintTony.com. For instance, I hate those spams that come in for Viagra. So I'm going to make it so that any email where the subject contains Viagra gets deleted. And I'm going to add the filter. So now I have a filter that deletes anything with Viagra in the subject. I can also edit this filter and perhaps what I really meant was that I wanted it to be in the body instead of the subject. I can also add other example items, for instance maybe if it contains uh, another well-known drug that seems to be popular in in ads, in spam. So I'll just edit this filter and now my filter gets rid of anything that has Viagra or metformin in the body. I can have up to five different items in each filter. So, for instance, if the body contains any of these items, it'll automatically be deleted. Email filters can be useful for other things as well. For instance, let's assume that I work for an environmental nonprofit that has a, a web campaign that is sending a lot of web form emails to my inbox. If I have a smartphone, that could add up to a lot of extra cost. So what I want to do is go to the inbox, create a new folder, give it the name of the campaign and then let's refle refresh our folder list and there it is that's our new folder now let's go back to junk mail go to main add a new filter and where our subject contains free willy we're going to move it to the folder free willy and let's add the filter so now emails that with Free Willy in the subject will go to the Free Willy folder. 
It's a good thing to remember, though, that once they're in that folder, they're no longer available for download to Outlook or to your smartphone. So what you'll need to do is select all of the items that are in the Free Willy folder and move them back to the inbox. Once they're back in the inbox, you'll be able to download them to Outlook or your smartphone. I would suggest just downloading them to Outlook, and then that way you don't have to deal with them being downloaded to your smartphone. The next thing I'd like to talk about is the autoresponder. The autoresponder is something that automatically sends an email out. For instance, if I'm on vacation or if I'm out of town, this will allow me to not worry about whether or not somebody knows where I am. And then I update my autoresponder, and it will automatically reply to anybody who emails to me. I can also unselect that so that if I am back from my vacation, all I need to do is update the autoresponder, and even though the information stays in there, the autoresponder is no longer active. Those are the items that I wanted to cover today. Thanks for watching.